hello there YouTube and welcome to a 69 degree 72 percent humidity uh Friday the uh, second Friday the second of August it's crazy this is like southern humidity it was crazy humid I mean even though the temperatures got down in the I don't know mid to upper 50s last night we left the air conditioners on and you could you couldn't swing a two by four out here without creating a vapor trail that's so thick. But they said it was gonna be that way, maybe even through the weekend. But, uh, it's beautiful now, it's very comfortable. Feels great. Can we play hooky on Friday? <laughs> anyway, let's, uh, let's start our day. Y'all come on along. 73 degrees and, and smoking. It's one of the, our employees. Everybody's got groms. Those guys have so much fun on those things. They do. Just they a ball. Are and all get out. Yeah. They hurt themselves with them though. They do crazy <laughs> Put little stunt bars and everything on there, goofing around. And yeah. They all all experiencing road rash. That is not fun. <laughs> Young and dumb. Mm -hmm. But they're having fun. Yeah. Well, Mama. Yes, We made it to Friday. We did. God almighty. Yeah. All right. All right. So have a wonderful Friday. <laughs> you too, to you. Papa. I was just thinking I got nothing else to say after that. All right. I was thinking about what I got to do today. All right. Let's roll. All right. Love you. See you. Bye. I love you. Bye bye now. Bye. Well, let's take this little G310R for a little rip. I can't go far because it has no, uh, no mirrors, no license plate. Nothing on it. But, uh, yeah, I, off and on, I finally charged the battery. But I just kept starting it off and on, which is <laughs> not good for it. So uh, I let her sit out there earlier today and just uh, heat cycle a few times. It'll, uh, she'll get the heck ran out of it here pretty soon. So what I'll do, I, I head for the highway here. Hey, it looks like our old boar wagon. But George, it just might be. Wow, look how light the traffic is out here today. Scary thing about that, they're probably all at the fairgrounds that we gotta drive past on the way home. So the traffic going in, they warned that it was gonna be uh, you know, people going to the fair early would lock things up. It was a little bit slower than what it normally is, but uh, yeah, it wasn't bad. Of course, I haven't uh, looked to see because we got to go past the exit that enters into it. And when we were coming, when we passed the fairgrounds, the northbound traffic, I-5, was backed up as far as you could see. So... Yeah, that's people going to the fair. But southbound, as we were going on our way here, wasn't that bad. Oh, well, it's gonna hit the, the alleyway there. And I got no way I'd have to loop all the way around to get to it. Oh well. <laughs> I hate looking to see what's behind me and uh, there ain't no daggum murder. No mirrors. She runs like a top. Oddly enough, the time for because you know you replace the the cam and you gotta of course check into or adjust the valves. Of course, BMW engineering the valves were uh, <laughs> the same with that cam as. As it was with the old cam. Now that's some, that's some precision uh, machining there. I still can't fathom what the difference is between the cams, but it, it's like a normal G310R. It has something to do with that decompression release. Somehow or another, I think it was folding out of the way. It, it acted like it w literally wasn't functioning at all. I thought I seen a grill coming at me. I did. 
<laughs> so we'll do, we'll do a little bit of parking lot riding today. Surprising how well these things work for a little 310. I mean, they zip right along. It probably, I'm sure it'd probably outrun my classic 350s. In fact, I'm pretty sure of it. It's um, specs because they, you know, there's a lot of comparison between the the uh, 411 Himalayan and the G G310 GS. And um, I forget what it is. It I think this makes horsepower up higher. They're very comparable. Uh, just the weight is less on the BMW, but performance, I think top speed is less on this than it is on the on the Himalayan. I forget, I actually made a little note about it, about the differences between the two. I think these are more expensive by a couple grand or something. It's all coming from the same place. The guy putting the Himalayans together may have may have put your G310 GS together, or at least his brother or relative or something. You never know. Wow, that's a lot of used hundreds. That's pretty impressive. I bet you they want a what a penny or two for them crazy what used vehicles are worth nowadays I mean I've already seen bikes used ones selling for about what the daggum new ones are you know that whole Tundra thing they changed that body style and they, you get, there's some deep discounts on those things they just can't seem to even give those things away. You see them around, but I think by far most people just, I, I'm one of them, I just, I think the hit, the look of it is absolutely hideous. Looks pretty good in red, but just the shape of it. But one thing though, the interior, ooh, it's beautiful. And the worst thing is, you know, they put a, a v6 twin turbo v6 in here and everybody you know that's the way the world's going is let's just over pressurize a small motor and um, charge a huge price for it and you know the thing don't last the old tundras were famous for you know they they'll go like 300,000 miles without doing much to them at all if you take care of them, I mean, they go well beyond that. It's crazy how long those big old V8s would last in those tundras, but no more. She's got some, she's squishing in high pressure in there and uh, small, small displacement, high pressure. That equals unreliability. But it's too early to tell at this, at this point. But, uh, yeah, I wouldn't. You couldn't talk me into one of them, especially what they want for it. I'd rather just get a good old normally aspirated Tacoma and call it good. But they're everywhere. I mean, even our Toyota store, it's nuts how many of them they have. It's scary. there's some sales managers that are pretty nervous about them trucks <laughs> there was something we had they were advertised at some crazy prices but I, I'm just not into some turbocharged that's great they squeeze all that performance out of that little small motor but yeah longevity of that is uh, not very optimistic and just the look of it it's just like it's like they tried to 
make a Ford and a Chevy kind of all mixed together. Wow, that Camry's a good looking automobile. Holy moly. Yeah, buddy. That is a looker. Uh, watch the Nissan don't come out and get me. Thanks for seeing me. That's another thing with that CRV. Not only do I have to learn how to actually drive an automobile like you're supposed to, you don't realize how much that thing is is watching over you, keeping you going straight. Traffic stops in front of you. It stops for you, and yeah, everything's. All, I don't even have ABS. The only advancement that old war wagon has on there it has airbags and i'm not sure it doesn't have those ones that are uh, like an extreme safety hazard you're more likely to get hurt by the airbag than uh than the accident that was a big recall i keep meaning to go to honda's website and put my vin in and see if that ever got done I'm pretty sure those were a part of it. I know I got bulletins for both of the elements we had. Saying that uh, we need the airbags replaced. I see the sky has already bailed out on me today. Or maybe he didn't ride. I think I, I see him yesterday. He was riding in that crazy heat. Uh, maybe he didn't. That was the day before. just there's just some bikes that are just so much fun to ride you just your mind just makes you your mind just wander all over the place this is one of them I've seen a big a raven that was back there where'd he go Looks like he's climbing up the tree and if it, that's what it was that was a woodpecker Look, there's a, there's a little cat symbol. I just leave it sitting here running. I want to get her good and hot. Look, there's like a, it's like a little wooden thing that was probably some decorative thing that just came apart after a while. I swear I've seen the bird on the tree. I don't think crows do that or ravens even. Ooh, that's scary when you're walking and your foot sinks in the ground. You guys ever step on a, a bee's nest that's under or a hornet nest that's in the ground? Whew, I did. Years ago out at PIR, the Superbike guys were there. And um, we were walking out to the far side of uh, PIR, Portland International Raceway. And I stepped on one, and it was Kelly, my co-worker Floyd, and friend. Um, the three of us are walking, and I was the only one, and I looked, I go, man, something's like burning me. And I looked down, and I was just covered. They must have stung me several hundred times between all of them. And then I uh, climbed up in this tree to get a good look of, you know, turn uh, one and two as they come through there. and. I started getting tunnel vision and I was blacking out. <laughs> it was not good. But yeah, these little 310Rs, very, very fun to ride. For me, it's a little bit of a tight seating position and you're kind of locked in. But that's just the initial thought I get. But riding them around, I don't think about it anymore. Other than this weird thing with the camshaft, these they don't come in for anything. They have just been absolutely stone reliable. They come in for tires, chains that the customer doesn't take care of them. And the scary thing is they don't come in very often for their services. They always come in for the first one. And um, very seldom do you see them come back. You see them buzzing around all over the place. And super, super reliable. 
He goes, oh, they're built in India. It's got to be junk. Mm, no. But anyway, glad to get that fixed. Somebody banging around in one of those trucks over there. Oh, there was. Probably somebody doing some maintenance or something to it. You know, it's funny how people... I talk about this a lot. How people just shun smaller bikes. They just... You don't know what you're missing. But then the same people will... Will drive a Grom around. And, oh, that's the greatest thing ever. Know, something like a 310 found the same thing they're small and fun they don't go blisteringly fast or anything but most of the time you're not driving that fast anyway or at least you shouldn't be well thanks for coming along on the journey of the G310R. This one took a long time to get fixed. That part's back ordered forever on this thing. She's a sweetheart. <laughs> All right, well, that'll be it. Well, hello there, you two. Man, what a beautiful evening. It was low 90s here, it was, what, 96 or whatever in Vancouver. It, uh, it felt plenty, <laughs> plenty warm. It was warm. Heck yeah, man, that's hot. Gotta keep my fingers crossed that air conditioner holds out on that CRV. Those things, those air conditioner pumps are pretty famous for uh, for failing on those old ones. That thing will actually run you out of the car. Yeah. Works really good. Hopefully somebody's replaced that or whatever. I don't know what the deal is, but it works great. Takes it, a bit to get there, but Yeah, it the car's great. so hot on the inside, it just doesn't seem like it's doing anything at first. Uh, James, one of the techs, you've probably seen it like yesterday when we we're, you know, I got at work. You can see his 05 CRV over there. His pump blew up, did the typical thing. It blew up and spit all the stuff in the condenser and just wiped everything out. It's really expensive to re replace them when they do that. But he still drives it even on those crazy hot days. You know, sometimes he needs to do things after work or whatever. Whatever. He's got bikes to ride. But that was a fun day, getting that 310 done, and uh, getting a chance to go out there and play around on it a little bit. Those things are really fun to ride. They're uh, they're better than what you think. You th people, you know, like I was saying in the video, you know, people think, oh, it's on 310, that won't go anywhere. That's a nice breeze. Yeah, it is. It's and it's oddly coming from behind us. That you know, is that's... really, really rare. Always <coughs> it's coming like straight through us that way. It's like blowing us in the back. That's weird. We came out here one day and it was a crazy windstorm. Yeah. And we stood right there and it was so hard. It was like, it was like a little burst from like a tornado or something. Yeah, just that made us take crazy. a couple of steps back. You could hear the barn and the house cracking and stuff. Like, what was that? Yeah, where did that even come from? Yeah, it was nuts. That was cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> kind of spooky, but cool. But anyway, that was a fun day. It was a hot day, but luckily if we got air conditioning, we could stand in. We went to work outside. Yeah. And uh, Kelly seemed pretty busy every time we went up there. She was hopping right along. Right. Yeah. So on that, our weekend has officially started. We've rolled in the, in the driveway. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Saturday or Sunday. Heck yeah. All right. We we'll see you all tomorrow. See you in the morning. All right. Bye bye now. Mm -hmm.